there's levels of engagement at the masjid, okay? Um, I used to be in a board, uh, then I swore I'd never be again. Somebody's got to do it though, right? Um, I feel that being burnt at the masjid is a reality and I sympathize with it and I empathize with it too. I've, I've had plenty of bad experiences at masjids myself. But I've come to the conclusion that I have to, the, the, I'm, uh, the, the masjid until it evolves, until it is better, or until I'm in a community, alhamdulillah I am now, where I feel like I'm in a community. Right? If that's not the case for many of you, you're just not in a place where you feel like the masjid is a communal space. Then all it is to you then is a spiritual space. You just pray and leave. Pray and leave. But I feel personally that the spirituality of the Muslim will absolutely suffer if his life or her life is divorced from the masjid. There's a spiritual like uh, um, relevance. It's a relevant part of the Muslim experience to pray at the masjid. It's, it's something that's a part of our spirituality. And that spirituality suffers when we say, I didn't get a good experience here, so I'm not even coming here for anything else. You can dislike the people involved, but those four walls, you know, and that space is sacred. That's a religious thing. From, I'm talking from a spiritual point of view. And that's also a mes message I want to like, emphasize. Yes, there's a social void, but the spiritual void can only be filled by you. You don't get, nobody else will give you spirituality. You being at the masjid and praying, make, taking the time away from home, away from any other cause, going all the way to the masjid and then praying, that alone is a spiritual experience. The drive to the masjid is a spiritual experience. It benefits you.